When the video about Nikola Tesla's induction motor first went online, it sparked a wave of fascination that the creator didn't fully expect. The comment sections overflowed with links to mysterious machines and experimental devices that supposedly generated electricity forever. Some claimed that Tesla himself had already solved the world's energy problems, that he had tapped into an unseen force, a limitless source of power that governments and corporations conspired to suppress. Others pointed to YouTube inventors and home engineers claiming to have rediscovered his secret. This curiosity wasn't malicious. It came from the same human desire that drives invention, hope. Hope that the universe holds an overlooked key, a shortcut that frees humanity from scarcity and cost. The dream of something for nothing has existed as long as civilization itself. But what follows is not dreams. It's about the laws of nature, the limits of physics, and the clever ways those limits are bent or faked on the internet. To uncover the truth, one must begin with the fundamentals, because everything starts with something simple. A wire, a current, and a magnetic field. When current flows through a wire, it creates a magnetic field that circles the wire. It's invisible, but measurable. Place a compass beside the wire, and the needle moves. The wire's field overpowers Earth's magnetic pull. Turn off the current, and the needle returns to the north. Now coil that wire around a piece of iron, and the magnetic field strengthens dramatically. Suddenly, the wire can lift metal objects. The moment the current stops, the magnetism vanishes. That is the essence of an electromagnet. Simple, predictable, and powerful. But what if the process is reversed? Move a magnet near a coil of wire, and voltage appears. The faster the movement, the greater the voltage. Stop moving, and the voltage disappears. This is electromagnetic induction, the core principle behind every generator, every power plant, and every electric motor in existence. It's a beautiful symmetry. Electricity can create magnetism, and magnetism can create electricity. Yet both require motion, effort, and energy. Here lies a truth that every fake free energy video quietly ignores. The energy isn't coming from the wire or the magnet. It's coming from motion, from the work being done. The hand that moves the magnet provides the energy. It may look effortless, but every flick, every rotation costs energy. Over the years, countless people have tried to challenge this principle, to design systems that feed themselves indefinitely. On the surface, the logic can seem simple enough. If electricity makes magnetism, and magnetism makes electricity, why not loop the two together? Why not connect one motor to another so each drives the other? In theory, it should spin forever. In practice, it stops within seconds. Every motor wastes some power through heat, friction, or electrical resistance. Even the best are probably 90% efficient. That missing 10% means the system loses energy faster than it can replace it. In a loop, those losses multiply. The system quickly bleeds energy and halts. The laws of thermodynamics make this inevitable. No machine can create more energy than it consumes. The same flawed logic appears in the idea of putting an alternator in an electric car. Some believe a vehicle could charge its own battery as it drives, using an alternator powered by the same electric motor that moves the wheels. But an alternator draws more power than it produces. The battery would drain faster, not slower. That's why real electric cars never include such a setup. To charge themselves, they would have to violate the most basic law in physics. That energy cannot be created or destroyed. Still, the internet is filled with inventors gluing magnets to alternators, insisting they have discovered a hidden trick. They proudly show rotors covered with permanent magnets, claiming the magnets replace the need for power. But magnets don't generate energy. They store it temporarily. They act like springs, pushing or pulling based on stored potential. The energy they release always equals what was first put in. Once that's spent, nothing remains. Many of these so-called demonstrations are cleverly faked. Some use hidden power cords disguised under tables, or painted the same color as the background. Others rely on double-ended extension cables that secretly connect to the wall, supplying the current that supposedly appears from nowhere. 
More advanced fakes use video editings, split screens, masked cuts, or hidden batteries embedded inside devices. A camera can make almost anything look real with the right timing. The motive isn't always malice. Sometimes it's attention. Every click and view translates into ad revenue. A viral, free energy video doesn't need to convince scientists. It only needs to entertain enough viewers to make money. The longer people argue in the comments, the more valuable the video. The creators don't even have to claim personal belief. Some simply exploit curiosity for profit. Yet there's another side to this phenomenon, a deeply human one. People want to believe the world is simpler than it is. They want to think that a single clever person working alone in a garage could outsmart billion dollar corporations and rewrite the rules of energy. That's a powerful story. It combines rebellion, hope and mystery. It promises freedom from bills, politics and control. And stories like that spread faster than facts. History proves it. The first perpetual motion drawings date back to the Middle Ages, when inventors imagined wheels that could turn endlessly under their own weight. Later, in the 1700s, hopeful engineers built overbalanced wheels with shifting weights that promised infinite rotation. By the 1800s, magnet-based perpetual machines flooded patent offices. Every generation rediscovered the same dream, and every generation rediscovered failure. When the first laws of thermodynamics were formalized, scientists finally had the language to explain why these machines could never work. But the dream didn't die. It simply moved to new forms. In the modern era, it found new life on the internet. Tesla's name became the perfect vessel for these fantasies. He was a genuine genius, a pioneer who created alternating current, the induction motor, and wireless transmission. But his visionary reputation made him an easy target for myth-making. People began attributing every impossible idea to him. Death rays, gravity shields, and self-powering engines. The legend of suppressed Tesla technology became part of a cultural mythology about control and lost truth. In reality, Tesla's real discoveries are more impressive than the myths. He understood the connection between magnetism and electricity long before most of the world. He didn't chase perpetual motion. He chased efficiency and distribution, how to transmit energy farther, faster, and more safely. His ideas powered the modern world, not through fantasy, but through physics. And that's what separates real innovation from illusion. Real science invites replication. It welcomes scrutiny. If a device truly produced endless power, anyone could build it, measure it, and confirm it. But every free energy machine collapses under observation. Its inventors disappear or move the goalposts. The excuses are always the same. Government suppression, corporate sabotage, or not ready for mass production. Meanwhile, the real revolution is already happening in plain sight. Solar, wind, hydro, and geothermal power offer humanity practical forms of renewable energy. They aren't magic. They follow the same physical laws, but they draw from immense natural sources that constantly replenish themselves. The sun bathes the earth in more energy each hour than civilization uses in a year. Harnessing even a fraction of that efficiently is more realistic than believing in an impossible machine. The persistence of free energy myths reveals something fundamental about human nature. People crave wonder. They crave simplicity in a world that feels complex and unfair. The idea of limitless energy without effort isn't just a scientific fantasy. It's a psychological comfort. It promises freedom from the limits that govern everything else in life. That's why it keeps returning, generation after generation, dressed in new forms and new technologies. But understanding the truth doesn't destroy wonder, it deepens it. Real energy laws are extraordinary in their own right. They reveal an elegant, balanced universe where nothing is wasted, nothing appears from nowhere, and every action ripples through time and matter. Recognizing those rules gives humanity power. Not the illusion of power, but the ability to shape reality responsibly. In the end, the mystery of free energy isn't about hidden technology. It's about human belief. 
The perpetual motion machine that never stops turning is not made of gears or magnets. It's the imagination itself. As long as curiosity and hope exist, people will keep looking for ways to escape the limits of physics. And that's okay. Because while the dream of infinite power is impossible, the pursuit of understanding is endless. That pursuit, real curiosity, grounded in truth, is the one force that truly never runs out.